Birds are important pollinators too, especially of wildflowers. For example, hummingbirds have perfectly designed beaks that can reach the nectar inside long, tubular shaped flowers. Look at the hummingbird that it has his beak going into the yellow flower in the top left corner. He's able to get his beak way down in there to reach the sweet nectar. There are more than 2,000 different kinds of birds in the world that feed on nectar. Birds have a poor sense of smell and help to pollinate unscented flowering plants because they are attracted by the color and shape of the flowers. A variety of small mammals pollinate flowering plants, mice, shrews, and rats, even tree-dwelling animals such as lemurs and small monkeys can help to transfer pollen. People also help the pollination process. Often, when people are working in their flower gardens, the sticky pollen is accidentally carried from flower to flower. For some plants, pollination does not just occur during the daytime. Some scented flowers attract nighttime pollinators such as bats and moths. Although 19, 90% of flowering plants are pollinated by animals, especially insects, the wind and even water can play a part too. Pollen is carried by the wind. Flowering plants that live in water, such as lilies, can be pollinated as the water carries the pollen from one plant to another. Once pollen has been transferred and reaches the new plant, the flower produces seeds. The next part of the process is called seed dispersal. This is the process of carrying the seeds away from the parent plant so that the flowering plant life cycle can begin all over again. Most seeds are dispersed in late summer and fall. 